Hi, Cindy here, Director of the Wildlife Sanctuary at the Children's Museum in West Hartford, Connecticut. I'd like to introduce you to one of my favorite animals. This is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. It's called that because it is from Madagascar. That's an island off the coast of Africa, and they do make a hissing noise. When these insects are afraid or fighting, what they do is force air out of these small holes. They're called spiracles. They flatten their body out. It forces the air out of them so fast that it makes that hissing noise, and that's to warn off other cockroaches or to warn off predators. Let's see if we can get them to hiss for us. Cockroaches are arthropods. Arthropods include insects, arachnids, centipedes, millipedes, and crustaceans. So these are just like a butterfly or a beetle or a dragonfly. All of those things are insects. Cockroaches are really, really interesting. They've been around for a very long time. 300 million year old fossils have been found. So they were around before the dinosaurs. They're still around. They're very tough little animals. Being insects, they have the same things as all of the insects have. They have three body parts. The first one is their head. On their head, you'll notice a pair of antennae, a biting mouth to eat their food, and compound eyes. The middle part of their body, or the second part of their body, is called their thorax. That's where the legs are attached. They have six legs. On the ends of their legs, they have small pinchers, and that helps them to climb, even helps them to hang on upside down. Some insects have wings on their thorax. This is a wingless cockroach. The last part of their body is called their abdomen. It's usually the largest part. It's where most things are kept. This is also where they produce their eggs. Cockroaches lay lots of eggs. This species lays about 50 eggs. They lay the eggs, they all come out together, stuck together, and the mother pulls them back in her body and holds on to them until those small eggs hatch. When they hatch, they look just like their parent, except they're smaller. So they don't go through the complete metamorphosis the way that a butterfly does. This is a female cockroach, and this is a male cockroach. You may be able to see the difference. The males have two large bumps above their head. And the females, it's pretty flat. Cockroaches will eat just about anything. Here at the museum, they get leftovers from the other animals, apple cores and pear cores. They also get dog food, just to make sure they're getting some protein. In the wild, they're decomposers. They would eat things that they find that are dead, dead vegetation and dead animals. It's very important that these roaches are around to eat all of those things. Plus, they're an important part of the food web because a lot of things will eat them. Birds, lizards, frogs, even people eat cockroaches. Insects are also covered in what some people will call a shell. It's actually called their exoskeleton. We have a skeleton on the inside of our body. But insects don't have an internal skeleton. They have an exoskeleton. And that helps to protect them, keeps them from drying out, also makes them a little bit tougher. The exoskeleton of the insect doesn't grow with them the way that our bones grow with us. They actually split that exoskeleton open and crawl out of it and leave it behind. Spiders are also arthropods. They also molt their exoskeleton. This is an old exoskeleton molt from one of our tarantulas that lives here. What they do is flip over on their backs and they start to climb out of it. You can actually see where the legs came out. They leave that molt behind. They usually hide when they're doing this because they're very vulnerable before that new exoskeleton hardens up.